Today, Israel has taken a giant step toward peace. Yesterday, Prime Minister Netanyahu informed me that he is willing to endorse the vision as the basis for direct negotiations. And I will say the general also endorsed, and very strongly, with the Palestinians, a historic breakthrough. This is the first time Israel has authorized the release of a conceptual map illustrating the territorial compromises it's willing to make for the cause of peace, and they've gone a long way. This is an unprecedented and highly significant development. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for having the courage to take this bold step forward. We will form a joint committee with Israel to convert the conceptual map into a more detailed and calibrated rendering so that recognition can be immediately achieved. We will also work to create a contiguous territory within the future Palestinian state for when the conditions for statehood are met, including the firm rejection of terrorism. <laughs> Under this vision, Jerusalem will remain Israel's undivided — very important — undivided <laughs> capital. And the United States will recognize Israeli sovereignty over the territory that my vision provides to be part of the State of Israel. Very important. <laughs> and crucially, the proposed transition to a two-state solution will present no incremental security risk to the State of Israel whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs>